Yes, I did the, um, with, through Murad Muhammad, did the Muhammad Ali coin and the Muhammad Ali cologne. What year was this? I would say about, I went to the post in 84, so I'd say about 80, 81. As a publicist, how did you handle such a dynamic character? Well, you know, he was a character. I say champ. He said, you're calling me tramp? I said, I champ, tramp. It's, he was a very nice guy and, um, you know, very down to earth and easygoing. I mean, it, he, he was incredible. And it was hard to, to uh, fathom uh, of, um, such an iconic figure, you know, that could go anywhere in the world. You know, and to be such a very nice guy, he, he truly was. Did you have to help prep him for interviews or was he ready to go? Or He didn't really do a lot of interviews back then. We just kind of, you know, did the press for this stuff and he'd be at the press conference for each of those entities and not really say a whole lot. He had already kind of uh, shut down with, a, you know, a lot of the talking that we, we saw early in life with him. Or, you know, you probably saw in old videos and interviews. Uh, he had quieted down uh, somewhat. I remember one time we went to his house with Larry Holmes, you know, because I also worked for him. And we were out in L.A. and this guy Booker, they took us by his house. And he was just so natural and everything, even um, at his house. Mm. So he acted like the champ that the world Yeah, he was doing magic tricks. Really? Yeah, he was doing the magic tricks with the uh, handkerchief and all that uh, at his house. Mm -hmm. So before interviews, this might be a dumb question, but did he ever get nervous? Who, Muhammad Ali? Yeah. He didn't seem to be. I mean, I'm telling you, he didn't do, I don't remember him doing a lot of interviews. It was just we had to move him from a, point A to point B. Like one time I gave this, this still talk about this uh, pizza party. That's all I had a budget for was pizza. <laughs> it's when Larry Holmes fought Scott Frank in Atlantic City. The way the casino said I could have the free pizza party was I had to deliver uh, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, even though Larry Holmes was the one fighting. And for so long, we couldn't find Ali. And then he finally showed up. I was like, oh, because I don't want them to shut the party down. And they're already talking about me and I'm serving pizza because it was half the fight. <laughs> they already dogging me out. So, but, um, yeah, it was more moving him from point A to point B rather than him, you know, talking and giving interviews at that point. At this time in the early 80s, was his religion still playing a factor? Oh, yeah, that was another problem. He was always praying. I'd be going to look for him, and he was praying. <laughs> it's like going to the mart on 116th Street. I'm trying to buy a purse, and these people are praying. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> he was this, this tailor, I had this tailor make Mike some pants. I called him. He said, you got to come after three because I got to Right. And I think it's wonderful. But I just saying that's how the champ was Ali. He was all his religion was uh, very, very much a part of his life. I witnessed it first day and prayer and all. How was the cologne? What the what did the Muhammad Ali cologne smell like? Well the bottle was hot. It had him on um an ad <clears throat> and a pink uh, jacket and suit. It smelled pretty good. I, and someone recently asked me, they said, do you still have any? I said, yeah, that was like in 1981. No, I don't have any. So, but yeah, it was nice. And the gold coin was a commemorative coin. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The champ had a commemorative coin. Uh-huh, yes. Was he still fighting? Well, he was still fighting at that time. Did you help uh, do any publicity for his fights? When I thought, I, I, when I worked for him, I was pretty sure he was retired. When did he retire? Uh, I want to say 83, 84. So this had to be right then in 83 because I don't believe he was in any shape to fight. Okay. Yeah. How long did you work with Muhammad Ali? I st my, my whole little boxing career was from 80 to 84. So it would be in, within that time period, you know, uh, for uh, probably about a couple of years or so because we really milked the Muhammad Ali cologne and the, the cologne, I tell you, though, was, was 19, um, oh, no, eight, 1989. That came much later. The cologne? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you worked with him? Yeah, because I had an ad for it on my magazine. Mm. Is it defunct now? or is it Yeah, I haven't seen it since then. Nobody no. knows Muhammad Ali. No, no, no Muhammad Ali cologne anymore.
Did it have to have the slogan on it, float like a butterfly? No, it was just a really pretty bottle, and it was very nice. And the coin was gorgeous. It was, like I said, a commemorative coin. It was very nice. You also were the publicist for Larry Holmes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants me to work for him now.